So the cranial portion of the parasympathetic nervous system is carried by four nerves. The oculomotor, which is cranial nerve three, the facial, which is cranial nerve seven, the glossopharyngeal, which is cranial nerve nine, and the vagus, which is cranial nerve 10. This comprises the cranial portion of the craniosacral parasympathetic nervous system. As we already talked about when we talked about the vagus nerve, you can really see, or what we can see in this slide, here we go, what we can see in this section is all of our cranial nerves, and again it's three, seven, nine, and ten that have a parasympathetic component. We also have a parasympathetic nucleus that lives in our sacral spinal cord from S2 to S4. These guys, the cranial nerves, are obviously going to be distributed within the head and neck, except of course for the vagus. The vagus which comes down and does, you know, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach, and almost all of the intestines down to that splenic flexure. Well, that splenic flexure is important because this is where these sacrals come in. So these guys, this, um, they're called pelvic splanchnic nerves. Um, and splanchnic is the Greek for a uh, hollow organ. So viscera is the Latin, splanchnic is the Greek. The splanchnic nerves then come out and take over where the vagus leaves off. Okay, so let me erase and then draw in our, again, draw in our pelvics. So if they come along here, excuse me, and they're going to innervate things like the bladder and the uterus, um, the prostate, uterus or prostate, depending on which one of those you have, and then the colon past distal to the splenic flexure. The parasympathetics are distributed within your head, your neck, your thorax, your abdomen, and your pelvis. What's missing from this list are your limbs. There is no resting or digesting in your arms and legs. So they don't have um, a parasympathetic uh, component to their innervation. This is again to remind me to remind you about our pelvic splanchnics that are here between S2 and S4 are their uh, preganglionics. They come out and they synapse in the wall of the organ and that's where those uh, ganglionic neurons are. They're distributed within the wall of the gut um, and in ganglia that are very close to the bladder um, or the reproductive organs, and again, they're going to provide parasympathetic innervation from the splenic flexure of the colon down, so uh, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. So what do I want you to know about the parasympathetic uh, nervous system? So with regard to preganglionic parasympathetic neurons, where are they? What neurotransmitter do they use? And are their axons long or short? Where will you find the parasympathetic ganglia? Think the difference between cranial, like the, uh, the cranial nerves, and think about the sacral area and what those preganglionic neurons project to. With regard to the ganglionic neurons, where are they found? What's their neurotransmitter? And are their axons long or short? Once you have this, uh, these concepts, um, under your cap, you're ready for the assessment.